Good evening, everybody. Thank you so much for that um, very, very powerful introduction. There's one thing that the Specialist Learning Center does also that most of you may not realize is that it prepares you for winter, because it's very cold in it. <laughs> so for those of you who plan to go to Canada, etc., you're all halfway there already. But today, it's all about the beautiful human beings dressed in blue. The graduates of 2024. Yes, today is your day. And before we get into depth at you all, I'd like to make a special mention to the principal, to the director, to the vice principal, to all of your parents out there who have been making it possible for these lovely students and to the teachers who put up with these human beings every single day to give them all the accolades that they receive on the stage here today. Round of applause. So my speech today is, ask yourself, is it by chance or is it by choice? If there's one thing I want you to remember at the end of this speech, is ask yourself that. Is it by chance or is it by choice? The statistic I give to you all here today is that the chance that you are making it onto planet Earth is one in 400 billion. That's the chance you exist. You are a miracle. Always remember that. We are all miracles. And if you understand that the chance you have here on Earth is not a mistake. Take you back to when I first had this world of the Olympic dream. I was at your age, around 12, 13 years old. This crazy dream coming from Trinidad and Tobago, I could do this Olympic thing. I was your age. There is no age in which you can't dream big, no matter how young you are or how old you are. And at that point in time, there was no pathway. There was no thing set in stone. Go left, go right, walk down here, and you'll arrive there. Yes, I knew hard work, but I knew there was going to be an interesting journey. On that journey, I worked as hard as I can in the youth of sport, in school, and everywhere I got the opportunity to work hard and enjoy life. And I went all the way to Australia to try and qualify for that Olympic Games that at 12, 13 years old I had set my dream on. And what happened? I did not qualify. This to me was heartbreaking. This to me was life has ended. But it just begun. It just begun because that was just another experience in my life, getting ready, getting me ready for all of life's journeys. And here today, you all are graduating, getting you ready for another one of life's journeys. At that point in time, when I didn't qualify for 2008, I was at the bottom of one mountain, trying to climb to the next, and I couldn't see the pathway. Many of you going to your next schools, you all don't even have your results yet. It's a moment in your life where you're questioning, where am I going to go next? What's next? My story here today will take you along that journey to let you know that not only you all here today spend many moments in your life asking, what's next? I, your parents, your guardian, everybody experiences that life all the time. And there's a saying that goes, at the bottom, at the top of one hill, is the bottom of the next. And that takes me to my next story, which was, I didn't make it to the 2008 Olympic Games. But I said, you know what? That broke my heart. I'm going to keep going. And so said, so done. I planned stronger, smarter, faster, invested bigger, did everything I possibly can to achieve this wild dream. And I did it. In 2012, I did it. I qualified for Trinidad to be for the next Olympic Games. But you know, that experience was amazing, but it was not enough. I didn't make it to the finals, and I saw myself at 20 years old saying, I can make it to the finals. 
and why can't I one day become an Olympic medalist too? So while I was on the top of the world in 2012, I was at the bottom of the hill on the next journey up. So I set out, off we go, Rio 2016. Climbing, climbing, climbing. Working as hard as I can. Results getting better. I literally spent one day climbing a wall. Some of you know that story, of which I went over the wall, and so did most of the wall coming with me. Today I stand here with you all. Ah, it gets me. I stand here in front of you all. Not broken, stronger than ever. With 52 screws in my face, seven plates, nice rod in my leg, keep me together, but stronger than ever. Because because <laughs> that's what we as human beings do. We, we rebuild and we go again and we go again and we go again. We always go once our heart is beating. If your heart is beating, you're alive. If you're alive, you have the next opportunity to keep going. So I kept going. I competed in Rio, and I said, you know what? I'm not done. Let's keep going. And we went to Tokyo. And then after Tokyo, I said, you know what? What's next? And I prayed about it. I envisioned it. I got an amazing job of becoming an Olympic level coach. But you know what, that didn't work out. And that's okay. You're gonna have many times in your life where it's not gonna work out. But you must take that as a strengthening opportunity. While you hear sadness in my voice, there is strength in my heart. There is an unstoppable fire inside of me. So don't ever confuse the sadness, don't ever confuse the tears for anything other than fire. These experiences I talk about are not here to bring anybody sadness. I'm not here to bring any, anything to anybody other than strength. And I'm not ashamed to stand up here and shed a tear or two, because I am real, like every single one of you here today. And remember, you all are going on a journey this, in this era that is going to be designed and managed by something called artificial intelligence. It's supposed to be an accessory. It is supposed to be a tool. You are all intelligent, but you are not artificial. Remember that. You all are going into the most futuristic generation of all time. Never let your phone, your computer, a robot, never let it be the one who leads you. You are intelligent. Be a leader. So my final message here to you all today is remember, you're going to get lost. I stand here in a very transformational period of my life. And I'm not lost. I'm interested. I'm not lost. I'm loved. I'm not lost. I'm blessed. And most importantly, I am not lost. I am Andrew Lewis, and I know who I am. And you all have been given a name. Take that name, respect it, grow it, make the best of you, what you can do with it. The learning, the Specialist Learning Center has given you all the gift of education. Take that and become leaders with it. Your parents have given you all the gift a first class school. Take that and give it to those who don't have education. And most importantly, God has given you the gift of life. Don't play with it. Love it. Enjoy it. May God bless you all wherever you go, however you go. Thank you for having me here. Fly high and find your way and never, ever give up. Thank you.